Hey everyone, how's it going? Okay. We are going to play the usual opening today. The London system. Okay. Playing the England Gambit. Uh, this opening's a bit odd. We tend to have mixed results against this opening. I'm really tempted to try to just put uh, the dark square bishop here on b2. England gambit. I'm just going to pin the knight. I have wildly varying success against the England Gambit. See, I kind of don't want to give up the dark square bishop here. Because after his queen takes this b2 pawn is... Gonna be under some scrutiny. Yeah, I can always push c3, but I'm debating here. Taking the knight, taking the knight, or going back to h4 here. Kind of want to bring it back to h4. I kind of don't either. Uh, I'm just going to take the knight, whatever. Just have to be careful for this b-pawn here. I think developing the knight is actually the play. It's either c3 or bringing the knight out. <clears throat> I think bringing the knight out is okay. It just protects b2 and it develops a piece. My knight is pinned now. He's got two defenders. I guess kind of a funny move is bringing the knight out here to d2. Either go like knight d2 or d4. I think d4 is worse. I think d2 is also bad. But queen d2 might have to be a play as well. There's also just offering the trade of queens on d4. Yeah, if his queen gets onto c3 here, it's going to be... It's going to be awkward. I kind of just want to offer the queen trade. I'm up a pawn, so I don't know. I'm just going to try it. Maybe c3 was better here. Maybe pawn c3 was better. Yeah, we'll see how he responds to this. Mm. I guess, man. Besides not to take there, which I find fascinating. I can take this pawn. This b2 is still going to be protected. Uh, yeah, this might be a little bit aggressive, but 
I don't know. I think it's okay. Let's check here. How does he block that check? Let's think. I think he has to block in with the queen, right? Uh, no, he can bring his light square bishop in. I just want to continue to offer the trade. I think it's just good here. See, I want to go rook d1, but I don't want him to like harass a2, for example. I could also just, you know, push b3 as well. But I'd like to castle. Also, castling queenside would be really interesting. It just gets the rook out on the open file right away. That's a really interesting idea, actually. Um, uh, I want to try that. I don't know. I'm like three moves away from castle and kingside, but I could just castle queenside. It's definitely an idea. Um, I think I'm just going to go with my original idea and just offer the trade here. I'm already up two piece or two pawns essentially. So I think this is totally fine. And then if for some reason he. Uh, He doesn't want to trade. I can just go rook d1 and look for the very fast mate. Although he can just bring his knight. I mean, he could bring his knight out here. And he's really committed to... Um, he's really committed to this. Well... Rook d1, maybe? I'm just going to go rook d1. I think it's going to force him to bring his bishop out here. Then I'm going to be weakening this pawn. Um, rook b1? And he's really dead set on... Moving the queen around. Can we just push up before? It's not like the end of the world. I have the check here, but he, he just brings the bishop out, so that's why I don't really like this move. Yeah, rook d1 is uh, really, really risky. I kind of want to go like queen d2. B4. Just gonna go B4. Yeah, that's a good move.
Yeah, I don't think that's the play. Ideas. Lots of ideas. I'm going to look for the check, try to get his bishop out, and then just push e3, target his queen here. <clears throat> I can pin his bishop too. Yeah, I was expecting that, so I think e3 is the probably the next viable play here. His bishop is pinned here, so I have to like take advantage of that. Best case scenario, I can just develop my light square bishop here. C4. He's not actively threatening anything, and then I can just castle next move. I'd probably just take the bishop and the pawn and look for the check. The England Gambit does not pay off today. Ah. Well, I think I'm just going to go for the check anyway. And take win the pawn here and check and just castle afterwards. I wonder if it'd be better to just castle right now. But free pawn is a free pawn. Yeah. I think I'm okay to castle at this point. I have a pretty strong lead. I also do just have a free pawn here. Hmm. Take free... St See, this is a question for you guys. Like, in this specific position... Castling seems like the right thing to do, but also there is just a free piece. So, like, what would be the priority here? I'm just really curious. My instinct leads towards just taking the free thing. Um, since, you know, any material advantage is good. But I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Does he just have... No, he doesn't have mate here, fortunately. Still protected on d1 by a rook. I need to be careful of that. Hmm. I think now is the time to castle. He's probably just going after this pawn. Hmm. I don't know how much I really care about that. Uh. Can I protect that? No. Uh -huh. Maybe I just go attack his knight. Um, uh, kind of want to just attack his knight. You know, I'm just gonna castle just so I don't get some silly back rank here.
I'm gonna lose a pawn if I go there. Just gonna offer some trades. It's gonna force his rook to make a sort of an in-between move, I believe, right? If we trade off here. Trading queens is probably just the way to go here. My queen's in a really poor spot. I mean, I'm okay with this. I'm fine to just keep trading off. I'm going to play a safe in between uh not necessarily like in between move here but i'm just gonna play a safety move well one second guys Hmm. Yeah, I lost two pawns in that exchange. It probably wasn't worth it. There's probably a better way to do that, but... Oh, well. Let's go protect that. Maybe I should have just went a4 there. I can threaten mate. Next move. pin his knight and then threaten mate here mm, he's going to be forced to move his rook like out here or one of these two squares or even back here Just going to look to put the rook on d8 here. He'll be forced to trade that off. I think he has to bring his knight back to c6 to protect d8. But even then, his knight is pinned, so if he moves his knight, I'm just winning his queen. I'm fine with this.
something like that, perhaps, perhaps. I need to just focus. Okay. Bit of a blunder there. <laughs> That's fine. I only went d7 to protect a4, so that was kind of a no-brainer snap decision there. I can just promote the uh, one of these pawns here. It'll be fine. It's pretty resignable for him at this point. So... The England Gambit does not take another victim today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, he blundered too hard at the end there. I think he would have had maybe a little chance uh, if he would have just, I don't know, not focused on that pawn so much. I think he should have focused on just pushing his pawns across his queen side. Uh, he probably had a be better chance of just trying to get another queen. Yeah, after all his pawns got scooped up on his king side, it was pretty hard to come back. I'm pretty sure this was my blunder here. Uh, which move was this? Which one was that? Is this like a check or something? Ah, uh, taking this pawn. Yeah, so it's funny. This is exactly what I was talking about was, is it better to castle or take the pawn? <laughs> uh, it's so funny how, as I was talking about that, castling was actually the right move, which is kind of funny. So castling would have been good here just to connect the rooks. Sure. Yeah, the pawn wasn't a huge threat, so... So what move was this? This was move 19. Yeah, so I hadn't castled, castled by a move 19. Um, and I had a pretty good chance to do it here. So I guess I'll need to keep that in mind. If we're way past something like move 10 or even move 15 and I still haven't castled, I really just need to go for it. So yeah, that was a fun one. What was the error he made here? Ah, uh, yeah, giving up this pawn. Yeah, he basically ruined his uh, chances of kingside castling after he re removed protection from g7. And then I was also still protecting b2, which is what he was going for. So, yeah, a couple of forcing moves here. And I guess the queen was okay here. Hmm. Yeah, it was not going to get threatened by anything here. So I guess I could have just left it. I was offering the trade here. I wonder what... Yeah, the advantage was still pretty high here. It was probably better for him to not take the trade here. Even though I was offering it. So, But anyways, GG Avriar from Rosia. And uh, thanks guys for watching and see you in the next one.